Greetings, my name is Velarde. Thank you so much for visiting my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a reading on Pisces for the month of December 2020. Now if you haven't already, please make sure that you guys subscribe to my channel. And if you find this message resonates with you, please make sure you leave a like and a comment. Thank you so much. Great to Google, please let me know the messages that you have for the sign Pisces for the month of December 2020. Thank you so much. Ashe, 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 ashe. Hold up, I didn't. Let me clear these cards. I just did a prayers before you guys. And that was some heavy ass energy. Let me clear it. Please let me know the messages that we have for this time. Pisces for the month of December 2020. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. What messages do we have for the sign Pisces for the month of December? 2020. Thank you so much. Okay, Pisces. Some of you guys are... Some of you guys are fighting. Some of you guys are fighting with your loved ones. Okay? You guys are... You guys have strife going on with your loved ones, okay? You guys need to let this go. You guys need to talk it out, okay? You guys are very attached to this person sexually. All right, you guys need to work it out. You guys have victory in working out, okay? But you guys got to you got to let this go because it's causing causing ruin, all right? It's causing ruin to the relationship and it's causing ruin, you know, individually, okay? Some of you guys, you know, are married or want to get married. But this is ruining the thought of marriage to you guys, okay? You guys going to have to let this go because you guys are really fighting for nothing. It's just be basically battles of wits because, you know, you guys are alphas. You guys are both alphas. You guys are going to have to work with, work at it. You guys have to keep working at it if this is what you want, okay? Yeah, but you guys are not working at it because you guys are fucking stubborn as hell. What's keeping you guys together is the good-ass sex. All right. But a relationship is more than just sex. OK. And I think you guys are realizing that, you know, that's the good thing that you guys have going is the sex part. But you guys see that when you guys try to communicate or talk about anything else or try to see eye to eye, it's just not working. You guys are at odds about that. And that's not good. OK. And you guys aren't working it out because you guys are just rather just fight and fuck and make up and push, push the issues under the rug. That's why you guys are where you're at right now, okay? But in order to transform this relationship, you guys are going to have to really, really buckle down to be mature about this relationship and really talk about the issues. Because if not, you guys are going to have to move the fuck along, okay? Because this is no good for you guys to just be fucking and fighting, but not, you know, being adults about how you guys should work together if you guys want to stay married or get married, okay? You guys have victory, you guys can have a victorious marriage, but you guys are going to have to work it out. And you guys aren't doing that. You're halfway ass. You're half ass working this out. You're giving unstable effort. Okay. And the effort you do try is unsuccessful. Okay. It's like, well, if he's not doing it or she's not doing it, then why the fuck should I do it? Okay. It's that he say, she say shit or, you know, lack of accountability. Okay. You guys want to win. You guys are going off of ego. 
this is very very primal okay very immature it's more primal than, than it is spiritual or even logical okay Pisces you guys have to get it together you have to get it together you have to leave this rela relationship alone okay that stuff is cute when you're younger but when you're older you have to get mature because a relationship is more than just good sex okay that fucking and fighting shit ain't, ain't cute that's how people get hurt and sometimes not emotionally only they get hurt physically okay we don't need nobody to be getting hurt okay prices what other messages do we have for you yeah you guys are not being emotionally you guys are just crazy you guys are not being emotionally loyal to each other okay it's like you guys are in a glass house throwing stones at each other but both of you guys are doing the same shit but you don't even want to admit to it you guys are doing the same immature ass bullshit okay you guys are keeping score who could win and who could who can't win it's, it's this is all ego this is all primal y'all need to treat each other better you guys are not doing that okay this is ridiculous, Pisces. You guys are going to have to get this shit together. Like, who does this? Seriously. You guys want to get married, but... What you, would you guys want to have a union for? Like, what is... How are y'all going to grow? What is what is there to grow up on? What kind of foundation is this to even be in a marriage or even to get married? Like, you guys are just... Like I said, it's just all this is is fucking and fighting. You guys are not really being loyal to each other the way you should be. Emotionally. Okay. What other messages do we have for Pisces Spirit? Thank you so much. Okay. Ceremonies and celebration. It's a time for important light passages as such as weddings, birthdays, and graduations and anniversaries. So yeah, you guys want to get married. You guys want to celebrate your union. But why? Like, why do you guys want to get married? You guys want this so bad. You guys want to want this so bad, but it's like a facade. It's like you guys are together because you guys look good together. Because people say you're all cute together when you're walking down somewhere. When you go into parties, people like the 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 aesthetics of y'all, how y'all look. But they just don't know about the bullshit you guys are going through behind closed doors. Okay? Now, the next card is spiritual protection. You are being watched over and protected physically, emotionally, and energetically, okay? So this is your guys' ancestors coming through. Then you guys know that you're be, being protected because all this chaos, all this strife that you guys have are doing to each other emotionally, physically, and energetically, you know, is no good for you, okay? So your ancestors are there protecting you guys from being crazy as hell to one another, all right? So maybe that's why you guys are still together because even the ancestors do believe that you guys have, you know, the capability of having a successful relationship. But you guys are going to have to realize that for yourself. You guys are going to have to do the work. Okay. All right. One more message for Pisces. Now, this message may not resonate with all y'all, but I'm not reading for all the Pisces all over the world. Okay, you came to this video, you know this video is for you. Some of y'all know what's up. This is hitting you straight to the heart, straight to the head. And I know this is resonating for some people because my head is vibrating like a, like a motherfucker. Okay. So we have my eye here. Truth and balance, okay? So you guys need to realize your truth and balance that out. Balance out your heart, mind, and spirit, Okay. Be real with yourself about this relationship. Be real with yourself on how you are in relationships, okay? My eye is the mother goddess. So you have to, you know, you have to live in love and compassion and balance those essence of yourself, okay? You have to learn to love, okay? We have the tree of life here. Okay, maybe you guys have seen this type of behavior in, you know, growing up. And your mother and father, your aunties and uncles. Maybe you guys have seen this, you know, in your family tree, okay? So maybe this, you're used to this type of relationship. Maybe you think this is how relationships should be, okay? It's up to you guys to break that cycle. It's up to you guys to break that toxic cycle. Because this is no good for anyone. And if you guys have kids, your kids are seeing this. And they're being affected by this energy. Okay. 
You guys are going to have to heal from this. Start healing from yourself. If there's work you need to do for yourself, do that. Heal yourself, okay? And, that, and then come back together and heal one another together, okay? But if there's something that's, it's, that's within you and you're expecting for this person to heal that within you, it's not going to happen. It's not going to happen. You have to start within yourself. You have to start from within. And you guys are really mirroring each other because we are we attract what we are, okay? Like attracts like. So maybe you guys are have trauma over the same thing, the same type of trauma, okay? That's why you guys are attracted and close to each other because you guys suffer in the same way, all right? But you guys are going to have to heal this. You guys are going to have to heal this, all right? Do that spiritual work. Do the, that shadow work. Do that that shock, that heart chakra work, okay? Cut cords to those who have hurt you in the past, all right? Forgive and let go. Forgive others who hurt you and forgive yourself for allowing certain things to, to tip you off of your balance. And forgive each other. Those of you that are in a relationship, forgive each other, okay? And grow from this. Because if you don't, it's just going to keep repeating what y'all have been doing and repeating what you've seen growing up. Okay, Pisces? Now, if you guys want a deep personal message, you guys just email me at southpalm at gmail.com. Um, other than that, if this message has resonated with you, please leave me a like and a comment. And please subscribe. And thank you so much, Pisces. You have a blessed day. And please remember, heal and forgive, my love. Peace.